Brunswick's nuclear power plant is in the bullseye today. The wind and the waves have picked up considerably, and Brunswick will likely be flooded before the eye even arrives. Brunswick's Mark 1 blowing reactors are the Fukushima Daiichi core place to put a nuclear reactor as well as it's only 20 feet above sea level and it's also less than a mile from the coastline. This is right directly on the middle of the nuclear power plant and it's at 18 feet. And what have we seen here in the windy forecast with our waves? Height? 46 feet. So this place is going to be flooded before those waves even arrive. Better hope this is not a direct hit. You can see it in this one. Right there appears to be two tornadoes. 20, 30 miles away from Brunswick. That supercell storm. It's actually heading in Brunswick's direction. A Cat 3 storm can push Brunswick to the limits. Tornado alerts will be ongoing. Hurricane Florence is still packing waves of 46 feet, so we can expect that these nuclear power plants to be under 17 feet of water. What if the building floats away, or the roof flies off a nuclear power plant? Can the diesel generators function under 16 feet of water? Can you imagine having to run around outside the nuclear power plant to prevent serious damage? There is a high fatality risk potential in this kind of storm. There would be multiple fires and electrical shorts all over the plant. Maybe more than one roof is gone. The diesel generators are gone. The transmission system and our roads down are everywhere. Do you trust the engineering in the 60s and 70s? Do you trust the Fukushima Mach 1 design from General Electric? They sold them off because they exploded in Fukushima. The company is also preparing for potential shutdown of nuclear reactors at least two hours before the arrival of hurricane force winds. Duke operates 11 reactors at the six sites in the Carolinas, including the Brunswick nuclear plant located south of Wilmington, near the mouth of the Cape Fear River. No domestic nuclear plants were operating back then. It's going to be very dangerous to keep a nuke plant operating in this vicinity. The grid load drops in this area around a nuclear power plant. There is no reason to keep a plant open. They should be shut down. There is going to be unprecedented flooding over an extremely large section of the south and the tip of the north. They should be situationally aware and very cautious. Brunswick's had some issues with their diesel generators before. Norberg diesel generator manufacturers bankrupt basically crap parts. Can you imagine having no manufacturer support? Replacement parts, stream or large diesel generator engineering or maintenance service? Components in the diesel generator failed, leading to a shutdown on August of just 2014. McGuire and Brunswick are the only plants in USA who sports Nordberg diesel generator. Nordberg went out of business. Basically, Duke bought the remaining shell of a company, mostly for the paperwork to support their diesel generators. They don't have a typical repair parts stream. They contract to get replacement parts on their own. Counterfeit, suspect, fraudulent items and no longer an operation machine manufacturer Nordberg, and then the third-party parts supplier who no longer is in operation also. Now the parts are made fraudulently in China. This gentleman who wrote this said he posed a question on why can't they just order replacements on all the diesel generators with new machines, get a giant manufacturer with large engineering service on their machines, and the replacement parts traditional stream. He says it's impossible. The specific diesel generators are integral to the licensing of the nuclear plant. Even putting in new machines, it wouldn't be the original quality. BS is this, he said. It would be cheaper building a new plant than ripping out an obsolete diesel generator and installing an identical or better diesel generator. If a diesel generator fails in a way it can't be used again, it means the plant would have to permanently shut down. He says this is why the industry has never changed not even one diesel generator in all of its history. The parts had an inadequate pedigree. They really have no idea where the parts come from, and they are worried they come from a Chinese fraudulent parts sweatshop.
So we're depending on slaves in China for keeping the diesel generators online. Seas 11 to 18 feet. The flash flood watch continues for portions of southeast North Carolina and northeast South Carolina, including the following areas in southeast North Carolina, Leyden, coastal Brunswick, coastal New Hanover, coastal Pender, Columbus, inland Brunswick, inland New Hanover, inland Pender, and Robeson. In northeast South Carolina, central Ori, coastal Georgetown, coastal Ori, Darlington, Dillon, Florence, inland Georgetown, Marion, Marlboro, northern Ori, and Williamsburg. Through Saturday afternoon hurricane Florence rainfall storm total rainfall from Florence is expected to range between 10 and 20 inches over southeast North Carolina, with a few higher rain totals likely. Across northeast South Carolina, 8 to 15 inches storm total rainfall is expected, but these amounts could be adjusted even higher if Florence stalls or moves very slowly southwest over northeast South Carolina this weekend. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. The affected areas were coastal waters from Cape Fear to Little River in Let Out 20 nautical miles, waters from Surf City to Cape Fear from 20 to 40 nautical miles. The thunderstorm has moved out of the worn area and no longer poses a significant threat to voters. Flood warning now in effect until further notice. The flood warning continues for the northeast Cape Fear near Bergdahl. From Saturday morning until further notice. At 10.30 a.m. Thursday the stage was 2.60 feet. Flood stage is 10.0 feet. Major flooding is forecast. Forecast. Rise above flood stage by Saturday morning and continue to rise to near 24.0 feet by early Tuesday morning. Impact. At 22.4 feet, 12 miles of Highway 53 are underwater, in some cases 7 feet deep, between the Northeast Cape Fear Bridge and Maple Hill. All homes including 60 in River Bend, 20 to 25 in River Birch and 12 in the Alligator Lake subdivision are flooded. 20 to 30 homes in Holly Shelter Estates are underwater. In the Sandy Bend subdivision, Offshore Highway, 40 to 50 homes, which is half of the homes in the subdivision sustained flooding. Portions of Crooms Bridge, Island Creek and White Stocking Roads are underwater. Here are the new observations. Tropical storm force winds have reached the North Carolina coastal waters and will move on shore this afternoon. At 11 a.m. Florence was located at 33.4 north, 75.5 west, which is about 145 miles east-southeast of Wilmington, North Carolina or 195 miles east of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Current movement is northwest at 10 miles an hour. Maximum sustained winds are 105 miles an hour. Hurricane Florence is on track to make landfall along the Cape Fear coast Friday morning. Florence is a very large storm, and dangerous impacts will begin to spread across the area as early as this afternoon. Life-threatening storm surge, inundation, hurricane force winds, historic flooding rainfall, and prolonged significant river flooding are expected as the hurricane slowly crosses Cape Fear and moves across South Carolina. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in North Carolina, coastal Brunswick, coastal New Hanover, coastal Pender, inland Brunswick and inland New Hanover, and the following counties in South Carolina, central Ori, coastal Georgetown, coastal Ori and inland Georgetown. And now taking a look at the forecast for the Cape Fear region, issued at 11.12 a.m., Flash flood watch in effect through Saturday afternoon. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. North winds 35 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 50 miles per hour, increasing to 40 to 50 miles per hour with gusts up to 65 miles per hour. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. Showers with isolated thunderstorms. Locally heavy rainfall possible. Lows in the mid-70s. North winds 45 to 65 miles per hour with gusts up to 80 miles per hour, increasing to 65 to 85 miles per hour with gusts up to 100 miles per hour after midnight. Chance of rain near 100%. Friday, hurricane conditions expected. 
showers with isolated thunderstorms. Locally heavy rainfall possible. Highs in the mid 80s. Northeast winds 70 to 85 miles per hour with gusts up to 105 miles per hour. Becoming southeast and diminishing to 55 to 75 miles per hour with gusts up to 95 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. Friday night, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Showers with isolated thunderstorms. Locally heavy rainfall possible. Lows in the mid-70s. Southeast winds 50 to 65 miles per hour with gusts up to 80 miles per hour. Diminishing to 40 to 50 miles per hour with gusts up to 65 miles per hour after midnight. Chance of rain near 100%. Saturday, tropical storm conditions possible. Showers with isolated thunderstorms. Locally heavy rainfall possible. Highs in the lower 80s. The coastal waters forecast for the following coastal waters from Surf City to Cape Fear, North Carolina, out 20 nautical miles. Issued at 11.11 a.m. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, hurricane conditions expected. North winds 35 to 40 knots with gusts up to 50 knots, increasing to 50 to 55 knots with gusts up to 70 knots. Seas 19 feet, building to 20 feet. Showers and scattered thunderstorms. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. North winds 80 to 85 knots. Gusts up to 90 knots, increasing to 110 knots after midnight. Seas 23 feet. Showers and scattered thunderstorms. Friday, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 75 to 80 knots. Gusts up to 105 knots, decreasing to 90 knots in the afternoon. Seas 25 feet, subsiding to 24 feet in the afternoon. Showers and scattered thunderstorms. Friday night, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. South winds 55 to 60 knots with gusts up to 75 knots, becoming southeast 40 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Seas 21 feet, subsiding to 18 feet after midnight. <laughs>